day 25, I took two days off to rest. I'm feeling better. Um, I've just accepted that my knee's gonna hurt. I mean, I knew it was gonna hurt anyway, but um, it was the swelling that was starting to bother me. So <laughs> my swelling and my knees, they're pretty much normal. Um, so I'm gonna try to get a ride here. I don't know how yet. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna try to hitchhike. I might just ask around, see if anybody's going where I'm going. If not, I'm gonna try to call the shuttle service. Get back on trail. See what I could do. Bye, Helena. You've been great. It's like noon. I'm out of Helena. Back on trail. It's hot. I spent all morning drinking coffee and not water. Um, yeah, start hiking. There, it looks like there's a water source in about 12 miles, so that'll probably be my objective. Get there to the water and refill and camp nearby that, I'm guessing. Um, unless the trail is like super cruisy and I'm just making good time. But as of now, I'm just cruising along. Let's see how far I go. Why? It's a boardwalk. If only the whole trail could be like this. All right, sitting down for a little break. Way in the distance over there, right there, I see a cell tower. And sure enough, I have good signal here. So I'm going to call my family, try to FaceTime them before I head up and over this next mountain because then my signal will be gone. And uh, hopefully, they're there to talk to me. There's the trail coming through the meadow. Pretty hot today. It's in the 80s, but with the sun beating down on me, it feels warmer than that. Keep on moving. I've passed so many of these old log cabins. This one was huge. Just makes you wonder who lived there. I mean, there's no easy way to get up here. The trail's been kind of like a dirt road, but this is about the smoothest the dirt road's been. It's been all just crazy big rocks and there's tracks up here. So clearly a car could still get up here, but I don't know, pretty cool. I'd love to know like some of the stories, the backstories behind some of those buildings. Another structure over there. And a random giant pile of dirt. Well, this is fun. CDT isn't obviously as popular as the other hikes, like the AT and the PCT. But look, trail magic. Somebody has a cooler up here for through hikers. Probably a former hiker. Let's see. There's some Coca-Cola, some Minute Maid lemonades. Ooh, and a hostel that being advertised. Cool. Well, I guess I'll have a drink. And write a thank you note. Well, that was lovely. It's very nice to have a can of lemonade on a hot day when I'm rationing my water. Um, looks like a hostel from uh, an anaconda put that out. A really nice looking hostel. So, I guess I'll try to go to their hostel when I'm passing through anaconda. <laughs> we'll see. And I'm back doing some dirt road walking. which quite honestly isn't all that bad. I make really good time and I have all this space and level ground to navigate. It's amazing. Look at that nice sign and even a map. How nice. All right, it's after six, still hot. 
have a little bit of water left. I'm gonna just chug it now, eat some dinner. I'm just eating bars pretty much all day today. Uh, another hiker gave me a bunch of stuff before I left. And so I'm not gonna cook anything or whatever. I'm just gonna eat in these bars. Allegedly in about a mile and a half, um, I should be able to, there's like some kind of water cache that two days ago was still almost full. So I'm hoping there's a little bit of water left in there. If not, a little farther ahead, I think, is a stream. And according to reports, it's flowing. So I just got to get there, get some water. And once I have water, um, I don't know if it's just the heat, you know, I'm dehydrated, but I'm going to get water, chug water, and uh, look for a camp spot. It's already six. I mean, I know I still got like three hours of daylight, but um, I don't know. I think I'm 12, 13 miles in. I'm okay with having a, you know, 15 mile day, especially considering I started after, after lunch, after noon. So I'm gonna drink water and um, have some food and carry on. Looks like some rain is rolling in. I to set up camp sooner rather than later. I hope I don't regret walking by this campsite. <laughs> Every time I walk by a decent campsite, it seems to come back and bite me in the butt. Although getting water and that looks easy, but it's mucky and muddy. I probably have to wait out there. But look at that little tent spot. Moving on, fingers crossed. Trail of magic twice in one day, which is good because I am out of water. Thanks, Tom Junkie Joints. Apparently he's a trail, trail angel. He drives hikers around. Heard a lot of people talking about him this morning, but I had never heard of him. But uh, yeah, look at all that water. Excellent. I am back in business. I have water. Now I need to find some place to rest me weary bones. All right, once again, I find myself. I'm gonna hurry up, set up my tent. I hear thunder, dark clouds rolling in. I try to squeeze into this little flat area. It's the only place I can find. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can stay dry. Let it be known, I have beat the rain and I could set up a tent anywhere. <laughs> this is a tight spot, but there's like a perfect little divot right in the middle for my body. So I got good tree protection, hanging up my food now. I'm gonna get in there and go to sleep. So, wasn't a crazy day. I don't know if I got 13, 14, 15 miles. Um, anyway, check back in tomorrow.